so let us figure out how non owners owners are going to be influenced through this word of mouth in our model so let us try to achieve that see for the word of mouth to spread initially there has to be some body who has actually owned it so let us assume there is no advertisement only the red circles are available so we'll make an assumption that owners got a uh, initial value is strictly greater than 0 that means there is at least some owner right and only the people who own it can actually give a positive or some feedback on that okay until then if there nobody owns it there is nobody to give a feedback on because nobody knows that product even exists so we'll assume that uh, there is some owners already available now we are assume the population to be homogeneous you can imagine this entire classroom and people are going to be interacting with each other okay. so let us assume that some amount of population you are going to be interacting with so let us introduce a term called as uh, population interaction imagine yourself as a non owner okay so you are going to be interacting with many people right so among the many people you interact there has to be some chance that you are going to be interacting with the people who are going to own the product right if you are only going to talk to friends who don't have the product then you don't get the information so when you interact imagine you are again as a non owner then interacting with say 10 people per uh, per day let's assume so uh, and population homogeneous so it can be any 10 people so this population interaction you may get convert you may be tempted to buy or maybe become aware of the product if you by chance meet a person who owns a product so then we'll have a thing called as probability of uh, contact with owner what is the probability they are going to actually meet a person who has the product and even if you meet a person with the product you are not going to immediately go and buy it you may think of other factors like price or quality or current cash in hand and your own inclination to buy the product etc so let us just capture all of that by simple parameter called as probability of buying so with this few let me try to define the buying rate so now if you are going to look at a systems view for individual person i am i know okay, i am going to interact with some amount of people and what is the probability that i am going to meet a person who is actually going to own the product and even if i meet them what is my probability of buying it so when you think logically so that gets affected by the population interaction multiplied by the probability of contact multiplied by the probability of buying so that is for one person so now if i have lot of non owners then i have to do it for everyone right so i have to multiply by total number of non owners which is pretty much what you are going to do so i'm going to define buying rate as um uh, non owners multiplied by population interaction multiplied by probability of contact multiplied by probability of buying let us write out the units here so we assume you already know the product okay so the buying rate is number of people who are buying the product per time unit so buying rate can be people per uh, month say number of non owners are people 
I am just using TPL for people. The population interaction is um, number of uh, number per month, probabilities are dimensionless values right here. So, how do we get the probability of contact? Again, remember total population is conserved, right? So, if I know how many owners are there, the probability I am going to meet owner is number of owners divided by total population, correct. So, the probability of contact will be nothing but owners divided by non owners plus owners, right. That should be the probability I am going to meet a owner, right. The proportion of owners that are there in the group and probability of buying will assume we know some value there. So, this I need to represent in my uh, as a model. So, let us just do that. We will define population interaction, we will define probability of buying, define probability of contact. So, non owners affects buying rate directly. So, let us link it here. Population interaction affects it directly. Let us link it. Probability of contact, probability of buying. As each of them increases, I am going to have larger buying rate, but the probability of contact is ratio of owners by non owners plus owners. So, I can I need to connect it like this right here. This is the model we have and complete the model by including population interaction, probability of contact and probability of buying and connect with arrows. So, the model you would have downloaded it will have just non owners buying rate and owners this is stock and flow will be represented create the new variables and complete this model. Then we will simulate and see what kind of behavior we get for different uh, input parameters, yeah. So, this is the model, this is how it should look. The values to be entered are also given there, I urge you to go ahead and build this model. And we can start with the first scenario. As you can see in all the scenarios the total population is 100, total population is 100, new product diffusion class that is the name of the file, download it and open in Winsum. You should see only the stock and flows, you can open it to see what is there, nothing would be written except the initial values. You can set the initial value of non owners as 95 and owners as 5, you can create these 3 variables, connect them with arrows and population interaction you have to write the value 10, probability of buying 0.15 and probability of contact with owners the equation I showed, probability of contact with owners is nothing but owners divided by non owners plus owners. That is only equation you have to write for this. You can quickly make note of the parameter values, so that I can open Winsum and show the model there. Population interaction keep it 10, probability of buying 0 0.15, 15 percent chance to buy. So, the interesting thing happens is this probability of contact initially is very is going to vary along with the number of as the number of owners increases that is also expected to increase, correct. Because the denominator is constant, the only thing affects is, is the pub, is the owners as the number of owners increases it will it will keep increasing, but overall this buying rate itself is nothing but a product of all these, buying rate is equation is product of non owners multiplied by population interaction multiplied by probability of contact multiplied by probability of buying, but the total number of non owners keep falling down, which acts as the limiting factor constraining and leading the model into a shape behavior. 
denoted some of the parameters. The equation for buying rate is just a product of all the arrows that is going in. The equation for probability of contact is owners divided by non owner plus owner. Uh, let me open my Venson. Okay. This is what you will have. So, this will be the equation for uh, probability of contact with owners, owners divided by sum of non owners plus owners. Use, use parenthesis to ensure the division happens properly. Buying rate is nothing but a probability, the product of all the parameters, all the variables that is linking into the uh, rate. You just multiply everything. Non owners multiplied by population interaction, multiplied by probability of contact, multiplied by probability of buying. You can check the initial values. Non owners is 95, owners is 5. If not, change it. Non owners 95, owners 5. Population interaction is 10. Probability of buying is 0.15. If you run the model, click buying rate, click cause a strip after you run the model. Once you do that, you should get a graph like this. One over month is the units for population interaction. Value is ten. Probability of contact with owners is here. You can see it. Unit is dimensionless. DMNL. Here is the equation. Owners divided by non-owners plus owner. If you got this, you can play with other values, make owners as 0, non owners as 100. Since non owners are 0 prob and we are multiplying it, there should not be any behavior that is unstable equilibrium. We need at least one owner for the entire system to start. Uh, so, instead of buying it, you can assume things like uh, it is uh, say uh, spread of some infectious disease, one guy gets it and then everybody gets it. So, if everybody is healthy, then nobody gets it. It will be a similar model. You can try with larger values. Ensure the sum of owners and non owners initial values 100. Suppose you have non owners as 95, or rather, non owners as just 5, owners as 95. That means only 5 people have not bought it. You can see what will happen. You just reverse it. The expected behavior in that case is should just asymptotically converge. You may not get a growth, it will just increment, it will asymptotically converge to the value. You can try that. How many got it? Same number of hands. I hope there should be more hands every time I ask. You can play with it. Let us take the non owners as say uh, 60. Owners as 40. Again, we can run the model. So, you can see the owners here, S shaped is not that pronounced within this model for obvious reasons. Again, note that the S shape is to be seen on the owners. The S shape that we are looking at should be whatever is pronounced at the owners only. The others need not exhibit S shape. The S shape that we are talking about is we are solving for the owners. Buying rate usually increases and then decreases. Right. The S shape we can find are the owners and non owners we expect a inverted S. Uh, no, not rather uh, 
mirror image of it. This case, you will get S in one us. Okay. For one small thing, you can make very simple modifications. This. Let us suppose the product fails or reaches end of life after some time. Pens, mobiles, consumer goods, whatever it is. When products reach end of life, the owners become non-owners. Then they again buy the product. So, let us modify the model that you have built by including this reverse flow. Again, as you can see here, there are two rates that is affecting non-owners and owners. We are not having a, we are not doing any extra calculation for it. All we are saying is owners will abandon the product after some time and then become non-owners. And again, once they are again in contact with other owners, then again they end up buying uh, the product. So, we can include this in the model. So, the equation for abandoned rate is owners divided by product life. Again, it is very intuitive when you, but you need to you know, pay attention since owners is connected to abandoned rate. And here the arrows you see, the owners is going into abandoned rate, product life is going to abandoned rate, product life, units is 2 months. Okay, that means after a couple of months they are uh, going to abandon it. So, then the only equation of abandoned rate has to be, rate means it has to be people divided by time, I would have the time. So, that means this equation has to be owners divided by product life. So, you can try a similar scenarios in this one also. Let us, uh, so the abandoned rate here is owners divided by product life. Owners initial value is 5, non owners initial value is 95. Then I simulate this model. Once you finish it, you can do it. You click owners, you will find that the owners saturate at a much lower value of uh, maybe 67 or something. But in the previous case, the owners would have saturated at 100. When there is no returns rate, the owners would have saturated at 100, you can check that. That means all non owners will eventually become owners, One non owners will drop to 0, owners will drop, will peak at 100. But you have any external flow, that means you cannot reach the stated capacity. Some people always come back, that value is stops at 67. So, let me just stop here and if you have any questions you can ask or please try out this model and complete it.